So you're interested in the Thorough Beach Stealth 700X Gen 2. Are they any good? The unboxing experience is rather bare bone. It only comes with a small manual and a USB-C to USB-A cable. It's a very comfortable headset if you have a small head. It's not flexible at all, so I can imagine it being very uncomfortable if you have a slightly above average sized head. The cushions are very pleasant since they're made out of memory foam. They also look great because they feature a leather side and a fabric inner, so you do have the aesthetic but not the sweaty aspect of leather cups. You can pop the cushion off with a little bit of force, which can feel as if you're tearing the headset apart, so I feel like there's definitely room for improvement there. Once they're off though, you can adjust this tiny piece to basically pull the cushion to the side and make room for glasses. Once again, not the best system since it can be really finicky, but cool nonetheless. Now if that actually makes a difference, I'm not so sure. But the frame of my glasses are really thin anyway, and if you rock bigger glasses than me, I can imagine it being a helpful feature. You'd still need to put your glasses on first though. So there isn't any improvement at all when putting on the glasses. Now one of the most important factors for me is the connection. And I feel like the Turtle Beach can definitely improve here too. I've had multiple instances where the sound was getting weird, as if it was auto-tuned incorrectly. Like pitch up, pitch down, on the wrong moments, if you get what I'm saying. To then find out it was due to my side table being in the way. But if there's nothing in between you and the headset, all is good. One major detail here is the fact that the Bluetooth can interfere here too. One time I was playing Fortnite with some friends and the audio kept cutting out, as if the connection was weak. But then later I found out it was trying to connect to my Bluetooth on my PC while I was gaming, because I had not manually turned off Bluetooth. Bluetooth off. Now connecting the headset to another device is really easy, if you know how. Because if Bluetooth is on, it does not mean you can connect to it right away you have to press and hold the Bluetooth button and then hold it until it says pairing mode. Bluetooth on. Pairing Bluetooth. Then and only then will it connect. The manual did not state this, so I was actually about to smash it. Another negative would be that the Bluetooth function is only available after you've turned on the headset. And if you're anywhere near your Xbox, that means it will turn on automatically. This also means that if someone is already gaming, it will connect there first and then you can choose another function. The other buttons are easy to reach and I did not have any issues there. The volume wheels have a good amount of resistance and because of the stops at each volume level, you can really tweak this precisely. Now, as far as adjustability goes, you can move the headband up and down, which kinda has these gears too, which make it easier to adjust equally and holds its position very well. The mic can be extended fully to speak, one tap back to mute, and fully back to turn off completely. And you can hear yourself through the speakers. The padding on the top is also very good, although if you wear it slightly angled, it can still feel a little annoying, since the memory foam is not as prominent on all angles. Really, I must say that these are very comfortable. They have a really snug fit, and they have a good amount of force to keep the headset in its place. The sound is easily recognized as a very deep, cinematic bass centered sound, without peaking in any other department. Especially if you're watching movie trailers, you can really hear that crazy good bass. I would rate this a 9 out of 10 on the cinematic bass scale. The battery life was actually surprisingly good. Advertised as around 20, I got around 23. But I like to turn up the volume a little bit when playing FPS, so maybe when you're using it for different kinds of games, you might actually get even better usage. Awesome that you made it to the end. Maybe you're interested in these videos too.